In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to remove search bar from Windows 11 taskbar. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. First, I will show you how to remove the search bar from the current user, the user that is executing the PowerShell snippet. And after that, I will show you another method that allows us to remove the search bar from all the users on the computer. And here you can see the first PowerShell snippet that I will be using. And this one, like I said before, is removing the search bar from a single user that is executing this snippet. And it works by creating a single registry entry in Windows registry. Here you can see the registry location, the value, and also the name. And now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet. And then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows 11 virtual machine. And as you can see, we currently have the search bar enabled. And to disable it, I will open my start menu, I will search for PowerShell, and I will run it as administrator. Then I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page, press enter. And as you can see, after executing the command, the snippet successfully, the search bar is disabled on the taskbar. And that's basically it for this snippet. Now, before executing the second one, I will create another user account on this computer. I will use a net user command and I will create a username John. I will add add and then I will show you that on this new user account, I will I will have the search bar enabled and for that I will assign into him. And as you can see for this new user account, I have the search bar enabled. And now I will show you another snippet that allows us to disable the search bar from a single user to all other users on the computer. So I will go back to my admin user. And then I will go back to my GitHub page. And as you can see here, I have a single line, but I'm performing many actions in this single line. Here I'm configuring active setup to configure run once. And then I'm using run once to create a registry entry the same one that I was creating using this PowerShell snippet, but in this case, using all the functionalities, the registry entry will be created for all users on the computer during the first logon after the command is executed. And this command will work not only for existing users on the computer, but also for the users that I will be creating in the future. Also, if you want to know more about how active setup and run once work, you can check out the videos that I have here in the bottom of the page. Anyways, now I will click on the button right here to copy the command, go back to my VMware workstation and I will insert the snippet here. I will press enter. It executed successfully. And now I will go back to my John user. I will sign in. And as you can see this time, after signing into the John's account, we have the search bar disabled. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.